Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. So in this video, bam, here we have an iPod Touch 7 generation. You can see there, iPod Touch 7 generation 15.0. Quick story about this iPod Touch. I got this iPod Touch back in 2020, I think early 2020. Oh yeah, look at that, January 8, 2020 in Singapore. And in this video, we're gonna downgrade this iPod Touch 7G back to its original firmware. In fact, I took a photo of it, 12.4.1. This is the day where I got this iPod Touch, January 8, 2020. We're gonna downgrade this iPod from 15.0 to 12.4.1 using Turdus Medulla, just like on the last video. This is an iPod Touch 7 generation. This is running an A10 chip. Like I said in the previous video, that Turdus Medulla will work on the A9 and the A10. So we got a Touch 7 here. There's an A10 chip set here. And I'm also gonna show you guys on Linux here because for Windows users, there's no tools yet, but you know, you can do a boot a Linux distro to your computer and I will show you on how to do that as well. All right, so let's go to the video, shall we? Okay, so since this tutorial is for Linux users or if you guys have a Windows computer that, you know, that you guys want to reuse this for, you guys can run on Linux by just getting a simple USB flash drive, a 3.0 flash drive will have the speed grab a Linux distro that you guys want. We got Linux Mint, we got Ubuntu, we got all these flavors of Linux, all right? And then you just flash it with Bolina Etcher, all right? I will put the link in the description of also for Bolina Etcher, and then uh, flash the Ubuntu ISO, and then boot your computer or your laptop to that flash drive, and then there you go. All right, guys, so here we are booted in our Linux machine. I picked Linux Mint, and I just boot using the live option. So we're gonna open up our web browser here, and I have this Reddit post from Open Retina. So thank you to you slash Open Retina for the quick tutorial using the Linux beta here on Turdus Merdula. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. So the first thing that we're gonna click on is this one here, the file for the Turdus Merdula Linux version. You can see I already downloaded twice and then the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna download the IPSW of course so so we're gonna double go to the iPod Touch section here iPod Touch 7 get the latest one is 15.8.4 scroll all the way down scroll all the way down until I want that firmware guys that I screenshot 12.4.1 as you can see down there uh, the latest baseband firmware for the iPhone 7 iPad Pro is not compatible with iOS 10 so uh, downloading the iPhone 7 or the iPad Pro to iOS 10, currently not, not working right now. All right, so if you're downgrading an iPhone 7, an iPad Pro, the iPod Touch 7 like I did, you guys can try iOS 11, 12, 13, and 14, all right? And then now, we're gonna plug in our iPod here to the computer, plug it right there. All right, now we're gonna enter DFU mode on our iPod Touch. Oh, my bad, so they are the same. So the 7, 7 Plus, and the iPod Touch 7 generation DFE mode are the same, all right. So on the touch seven here, power and volume down for 10 seconds. And I think you have to keep holding the, the volume down button for another 10 seconds here. So one, two, let go the power button and keep holding down the volume down button. We're gonna open our file manager, okay. And our download folder here, you can see there it is, the Turdus Medula Linux version. I'm gonna go ahead and, and with archive manager and hit extract and put it in the downloads folder but made a folder called Turdus Merula so it's maybe much easier for us to extract it extract it like that now we're going to open up the home of every linux user which is terminal okay here is our, our terminal here now we're going to type in cd space and drag the Turdus Merula folder inside the uh, terminal and then enter and then we're going to type in dot slash Oh, there we go. Tapping sudo will do the command. So now with the A10 downgrade, we can easily downgrade the phone without have to getting any PTE block or SHC block like on the A9 chipset. So with the Touch 7, the iPhone 7, A10 chipset, we can immediately restore the device. So we're just gonna type in sudo again. And then space and drag our IPSW, the 12.4.1 IPSW, into the terminal, and then hit enter. And there we go, it will start restoring, now we're gonna pick number one for the 15.8.4 uh, baseband, hit number one, and there we go, it will do all the things, warning, it will, it will erase everything, put a big caps lock, Y-E-S, 
hit enter, and there we go. Y is enter once again. Now we're gonna boot the iOS device here. All right, now you can see here inside the Tundus Medulla folder here, we got this image four folder now. Now if we open it up with these three files. Now these three files are necessary to boot our, our device back up to the iOS that we need. Okay, so on the command prompt here, we're gonna type in sudo space, and then now we're gonna drag this one, the iBoot file. Number one is this file, drag it into the terminal folder like that, dash i, the sign sep, and then drag it again to there, into the terminal, arrow left, arrow right, dash p, space, and then this one, this um, target sep. Okay, there you go, that's the combination file to boot our iOS device, and now hit enter, and there we go. Finally going on and running again, let's see here, will it stuck, because sometimes if it's stuck, we have to unplug and replug the device manually. We're gonna see if it actually boots now for the first time. Now this command is what you have to run every time when you turn off the device or the device run out of battery. There you go. Oh, ho, ho, there we go. The iPod Touch 7 is back. Let's set this baby up. Oh, oh I miss this man. I miss this man. Oh, look at that. We you know is that we are I we are big baby. We are so big baby. We, oh, we got oh, I forgot. <laughs> uh make sure you are logged out from your iCloud. Otherwise, this will happen. So let me put my iCloud real quick. Hey, we good. All right. So, make sure to log out from your iCloud <laughs> before restoring the device, all right? We got the iPhone 5 or iPhone SE picture right there. On sand. Welcome to iPhone. Let's go ahead and press it in three, a two, and oh, <laughs> we are so back. Oh my God, I haven't seen that screen in a minute. Oh, oh yes, my baby. Yeah, let's go to general about. 12.4.1 this ipod touch 7 is back to its original firmware when i got it look at that back to its original firmware that i wish i haven't done this now like i said if you guys don't want this anymore you guys want to back, go back to ios 15 you guys can immediately restore using finder or itunes or whatever you guys can use to restore it all right so this is the uh, 6s from the last video, it's already run. It's already right now running iOS 15 because, well, I need to use the iPhone. You can see here, 15.8.4. You guys can match everything up. It's the same iPhone. By doing this downgrade, so you guys restore back to its latest firmware, you don't really feel kind of guilty, you know, man. So there's another reason why I want to do this downgrade on my iPod Touch 7, or at least on other 4-inch pre iOS 14 and 15 device. So. Uh, I take a screenshot here of iOS 15, all right? Here's iOS 15 on the 4-inch device or on the iPod Touch 7, the iPhone SE 2016. So as you can see here, it's like the icons got smaller versus here on iOS 12, the icons are big. Like, you know, what it, what it, what it's supposed to be since the iPhone 5S, since iOS 7, that's how it's supposed to be. Versus in iOS 14, when they introduced, introduced the home screen widget, they become smaller. Also, Look at folders here. It just feels so cramped. Maybe because of the smaller icon as well. I don't know why. First, just if you do iOS 12 or iOS 13 here, let me put a folder here. All right, there we go. You guys can see it's nicely spaced out. First, there we go. Here's the comparison here. Small yet just, I don't know. It, it feels like everything is just packed into each other. First, is iOS 12 or 13, it's just nicely spaced out which like I said, how it's supposed to be. So there you go. That's how you guys downgrade your A10 device or A9 device using Turdus Merdula on Linux. Thank you once again to u slash open retina on r slash legacy jailbreak for making 
the Linux version or at least the written tutorial as well for the Turdus Merdula downgrade. And again, of course, big thanks to the people that behind Turdus Merdula to make this downgrade possible on a 64-bit device. And just as they claim, they're gonna make an A7 and the A8 downgrade later on, all right? So, you know, make sure to have your 5S, your Touch 6, and your iPhone 6 ready, all right? Because this, oh man, this is just amazing to get back my iPod Touch 7 back to iOS 12. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.